what is Ponivala all about? Well, that's a good question because it's what I call a multivocal or multivalent story. There mm -hmm. are many ideas, many themes, many perspectives. It's not a simple story with good guys and bad guys and you know a moral at the end. It's a story as complex as the Mahabharata. And in fact, it links to the Mahabharata. Mm -hmm. And so we can say it's about many things. But I'll give you a couple of examples. One, it's about modes of work. There are three main groups in this story. There are the farmers, the artisans, and the hunters. And though particularly the artisans and the hunters kind of uh, get together and uh, are the antagonists of the farmers. Mm -hmm. So three modes of work, and the farmers are trying to make the uh, fields prosper, the plants grow. The artisans are making things that are useful to others. And the hunters are living the traditional lifestyle in the forest where they're gathering fruits and you know, uh, benefiting from the animals in the forest. Mm -hmm. So of course, the hunters don't want the farmers to come in and cut down all the trees. The same story is here in Canada. And the artisans who were in this area before the farmers came also feel that the farmers have taken over their rights. And so they ally themselves with the hunters and oppose the farmers. So in one way, it's a story about modes of livelihood. Mm -hmm. Another way to see it is it's in a kind of a wide paintbrush way. It's the story of the history of the area. It covers about six um, centuries in the area. And the interesting thing is it's one family of small rulers in three generations, the grandfather, the father, and the two sons and one sister, so three mm -hmm. kids in the third generation. Each of those covers about 200 years. So of course they didn't live for 200 years, <laughs> so it's a way of describing how things changed over 600 years. The grandfather's generation, the 200 years when the area was being settled, the Chola king was sending in farmers to cut down trees and start farming. The second generation, those original farmers became small kings and developed an alliance with the Chola king. And in the third generation, the three children, uh, they kind of rebel and they say, you know, we don't want this Chola king looking over us anymore. We want to be, you know, rulers that are independent. And so they kind of overthrow the king and establish a separate empire. But there's quite a bit of um, strife and, you know, struggle in the third generation. And that's, in fact, what happened in this region. We had settlement, and then we had fairly stable rule under the Chola monarchy for about 200 years. And then we start to have strife and warfare, and things break down. Mm -hmm. So with a broad paintbrush, it really accurately describes what happened in the region. But of course, at the level of the actual characters, we can say there's a lot of imagination.